consciousness. Listen. Let me tell you the truth. Still take it hard for me. There are things I believe I can never be a victim of till Jesus comes. And this is not empty talk. I have stayed with scripture until that thing, one of it is that I can never lack the help of men. No. No. It's not because I'm anointed. It's the revelation that brought that anointing. This thing you see, this grace called favor that you are shouting, you read it, you will never get it. it that's not how it works. We will stay until we are found. 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 We will stay. When God called me into ministry, I took time to pray. One of the things I covenanted with God with was that I did not want to manipulate God's people because of this money thing. I saw sincere, well-meaning people who love the Lord. But once you are pushed by the pressure of ministry, you will do things you never planned doing. But I know that I have to eat. And the implication of ministry is that you will feed many people. You will be like Father Abraham, having many children, your own and the ones that have forced themselves to be your own. And I said, God, I don't want to tell people lies. I had great men like Bishop Oyedeko, great men like my dear revered mentor, Dr. Miles Munro. They talked about the potency of walking in the blessings of God while others were there arguing in pride with no result I said God you can't be lying please show me I confess my ignorance I have read this thing but it's not working there are human beings in the world but nobody's looking my direction I don't need to go to a herbalist there is a way Kai Job said there is a path which no fowl has seen that the whelps of the lion has not gotten there when I caught that revelation of I shall not want I said this is it and God is able to make all grace if you think what prospers men is business get ready to suffer till Jesus comes now I'm not I'm not against those things don't get me wrong but first things first the realm of the spirit is what controls the physical realm but when you hold it there bar that's it you've held it you've held it it's true the same thing with the ministry of the spirit the anointing i saw great people that i admired walking in dimensions of the anointing and i said there has to be a way i got all the teachings and the materials i don't want to do a ministry speaking to people and they're shouting amen coming week after week making sacrifices and then they don't testify that is evil and is wicked in fact it's fraud i said i don't want that kind of thing Father, show me the secret to real power. Real, genuine power. I have found David, my servant. Ah, so God can find men, but until he finds his servant, he will not anoint you. God can find Joshua Selman, but he's looking for his servant. For as long as you are still Joshua Selman, that oil will not come to your head until you become his servant. The anointing is not for men of God. The anointing is for servants. Genuine people who love Jesus beyond their reputation. Who want to see him glorified. You see. You know why sometimes you hear me tell these guys to play these things? This is not, it's not a movie. One day... I was meditating on scripture and the Lord took me to the story of Elisha he said bring me a mistral and while the mistral played he said the hand of the Lord came upon him and he began to prophesy then he says I will reveal my dark sayings upon the heart it may not work for everyone but that is how light came to me
I valued divine presence when I meditated on the scripture Moses said do not send us from here if your presence I'm showing you how to manifest realities what provided what you are doing is just reading the Bible to ease the guilt of feeling less spiritual you will never never produce anything potent he said if your presence will not go with us and then here's what he said he said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest I said that's the key to rest the presence of God I remember in 2005 I spent a major part of that year doing a research on Jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence I wanted to know what was it about Jewish worship and God's presence that's when you saw that I started falling in love with all this kind of Paul Wilbur songs King of Kings we hail you most high all these songs that came laid down by the Spirit because I found out that there was a connection to these kinds of songs and the Spirit of God and the Shekinah of God listen you must move past the realm of just reading scripture and get it to your consciousness it will take time but allow the Spirit of God move it stay in your one room and read the scripture on how God brings men out the day it enters your spirit you will know the devil will know everything around you will know and like a magnet it will start drawing from anywhere on earth the men and the circumstances that must make that word become reality in your life I assure you on this listen hear me the day the power to prosper through meditation comes on you right where you are you know how and you know how explosions happen a nuclear bomb huh that's how it would from your place it's like an explosion in your spirit it will gravitate everything that must make that revelation true in your life and it will bring it to your life it is true sometimes it's difficult to teach these things because people mistaking it for pride but by the privilege of God's grace you see we have proven these things and will prove it again and again and again your consciousness the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want it doesn't stop there but that is the springboard the Lord not my ability the Lord here's how many of us interpret it my brain is my shepherd I shall not want <laughs> now the Lord the journey to lasting well starts with the Lord it does not ignore your mind it does not ignore your value but it is the Lord because he must be Alpha and Omega 